In the preliminary course, you will have looked at about a million different chemical reactions. All of these reactions would have taken the form A plus B becoming C plus D. And that's what you can see in the first equation here. It's something that you'll be very, very familiar with by now. However, in the HSC course, you'll be introduced to a new type of reaction. These reactions are called reversible reactions, and they're denoted by A and B, then a weird arrow thing in the middle, becoming C and D. What's different about reversible reactions is that whilst the reactants can become the products, like in any other reaction, the products can also become the reactants. And that's what that weird arrow thing in the middle is. So the first diagram is an irreversible reaction. And the second diagram is a reversible reaction. It's really important in the HSC that you can distinguish between reversible and irreversible reactions and identify which reactions are which. For example, if we burn steel wool, which is the same as burning magnesium, it would be really, really difficult to gather up all of the little components and turn it back into steel wool. As a result, we call this reaction a irreversible reaction. However, if we have ice and we melt it, it'll turn into water. We can freeze the water again and it'll turn back into ice. And we can do that as many times as we want. That reaction is a reversible reaction. And it's really important in the HSC syllabus that you can identify these and determine which are which. Mm -hmm.